Now, you're a bit of a petrol head, so I reckon that your favourite letter of the alphabet is the 13th one. Am I correct? You are correct. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And M stands for two things. Speed and handling. This is the new £50,000 BMW M3. From its featherweight carbon roof to ground-hugging diffuser tail, it's the most exciting car to be launched this year. Here's where the magic happens. A new, bigger, four-litre V8 that somehow they've managed to make lighter than the old six-cylinder engine. It produces 420 horsepower. And if that bothers you, then don't worry, because it's also greener and more economical. Well, a little bit. It's not so much an engine, more a laboratory, made in the same place that BMW build their Formula One engines. Even the humble spark plugs lead a double life as high-tech sensors of fuel density. The engine's brain carries out 200 million computations every second, and that's enough to beat Kasparov at chess, making this the most advanced road engine in the world. With 20% more power and 10% more torque, the V8 has given the M3 a, a somewhat lazier personality. Its power delivery just doesn't seem quite so urgent. But you only need to explore the throttle to reveal the beast within. Got a half throttle, do you feel the urgency? Singing, full throttle, and you soar up the hill. Nought to 62 comes up in just 4.8 seconds. That's quicker than a Porsche 911, and exactly the same as arch rival, the Audi RS4. Top speed is limited to 155, but how you get there depends on whether you use the power button which doesn't actually give you more power, it simply sharpens the throttle response. So if you're sitting there with just half a throttle and you press the button, all of a sudden it accelerates because the throttle movement is now more sensitive. But it's the car's traction control settings that really impress. Here's a standing start with the traction control fully on. Go for a big rip, 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 rip. And it sort of goes nowhere fast. The power is reined in, leaving you stuttering off the line. Now, if I switch the traction control off, I try the same sort of dynamic start with lots of rev. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The rear wheels light up like Catherine wheels because there's nothing controlling that mighty engine. Now select M dynamic mode. Now go for the big start and it launches you off. The Goldilocks setting. Not too much, not too little, just right. It's amazing how quick the M dynamic mode lets you go without you getting into any trouble at all. Traction control's now becoming a much finer art. They're not that horrible, constant interruption. But of course, at the end of the day, it has to go off. And with a choice of different throttle, damper and steering weight settings, all of which you can program into your handy M button, you can tailor the car's handling to suit. In my case, everything's set to extreme. into the corner as soon as you tap the throttle you can get that back to do the turning for you the steering feel as well is getting better now I go faster I've got that uh, sport setting on the steering it's a bit heavier giving a bit more feedback I can just feel what the chassis is doing underneath me Wise, there's a little squeak occasionally because they've slotted in some competition pants for doing lots 
of laps around this Poe Arnaud circuit. And they're very effective indeed. Cost a little bit more, mind you. The cut is just alive in your hands. And a real test of driving skill and fun and enjoyment. The M3 may have grown up a bit from its earlier student days, but under its new, more mature guise, it still relishes the chance of a wild day out.